In this video, I'll show you how I tattoo a script on real skin. I conducted a poll asking whether you prefer tutorials on real skin or fake skin, and the results were clear. You want content on real skin. So from now on, I'll be creating content on real skin. This is my workspace for this piece. I use a thermal printer to create the stencil because it's faster, but you can also do it by hand. Um, let's move on to the stencil. Um, to prevent skin irritation during shaving, I apply a cleansing solution similar to shaving cream. Then I shave the entire area where the tattoo will be. There are many reasons why shaving is important. One of them is that hair could clog the needle. After shaving, I wipe off the cleansing solution and disinfect everything with skin disinfectant. Next, I evenly apply stencil stuff. It's important to use new gloves at every step, especially when handling unpackaged products. Now, I carefully apply the stencil and remove it gently. The client was satisfied with the position so we can begin. I use a three round liner 0.25 millimeter needle with the needle standing four millimeters out of the module. Later, I'll use a second needle, but more on that later. Proper positioning of the client on the table is crucial. I let the arm hang down so the skin automatically stretches. However, I also stretch the skin additionally with my free hand. Uh, since there are many different skin types, it's crucial, especially with the first lines, to work extremely carefully to get to know the skin. I noticed that the skin in this area is very elastic and soft, so it's especially important to keep the skin under tension. For beginners, this area might be difficult to tattoo because there are much simpler areas such as the thigh. Many subscribers have commented that they can't find an apprenticeship as a tattoo artist. What do you think about becoming my online apprentices where I'll take you to my tattoo studio and show you how to tattoo on real skin, what to consider, how the daily routine goes, how to communicate with customers, and so on. Write your thoughts in the comments and let me know if you like this format. I always print out the template and place it in my field of vision for every project because it provides the original reference. And I try to work like a printer, copying it one-to-one -one. First, I do the outlines, and then I fill in the areas directly inside, so we only need one pass. And doing it directly makes it less painful for the client. When tattooing real clients and not artificial skin, it's important not to stress and take the time needed, no matter how long it takes to achieve the perfect result. A tattoo is forever and should be valued as such. I always work with eight volts, but this varies depending on the manufacturer and needs to be experimented with. Generally, I would say that for thin needles, beginners should work with fewer volts because thin needles are more aggressive on the skin. You can think of it like a thin knife blade versus a thick one. It's much easier to cut with the thin blade. For me, there's a rule here. The fewer volts I set, the more resistance I feel while tattooing. Adjusting the voltage quickly requires more experience, but it also allows you to work faster. As you can see here, I try to do the long lines in one go. But that's not always possible. So if you don't feel comfortable, it's better to pause. It's better to have a clean line with three pauses than an unclean one done in one go. Afterward, I fill in the area inside again. As you can see here, I always try to end the line softly whenever possible. If you're wondering why the stencil doesn't smudge, I let it dry for 10 minutes after applying it before starting, 
and as you can see it holds perfectly on the skin. You could use a thicker needle for this design, but since there are very fine thin lines in the script, they're much better represented with a thin needle. A special thanks to all channel members. A, with your help, I enjoy continuing to produce such videos. The first small script at the bottom is done, and now we'll start with the Roman numerals above. For the Roman numerals, I use a seven round liner, leaving it four millimeters out of the needle module. Since the letters should be thicker, I use a thicker needle, but be careful, a seven round liner is still a thin needle. Again, I draw the outlines and fill in the spaces as I did with the first script. With such a simple design, it's a craft. You don't have to be a great artist to tattoo something like this, but you need to be skillful and understand the process and tattooing. With the technique shown, I'll now finish the rest of the tattoo to not unnecessarily lengthen the video. Wipe it off and this is how the finished tattoo looks. If you're interested in learning different line techniques, check out this video here. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.